happy sneaky nose for today. Today we're back with Bodie Linux 1.1 point whatever it is. It's the latest one anyway. I downloaded a while ago, I just don't have time to do it really, if you know what I mean. I've just been doing other stuff, been really, really busy, you know, stuff and stuff with stuff and stuff outside of computing really. Lots and lots of stuff. So what I'm going to do, i have a quick look around for you. I've seen some other people have done some with I in virtual box and stuff like that, but hey, not for me. Oh no baby. Nah, really, I'm doing it in virtual box this one. Really I am, yeah. Okay, so anyway, we'll have a quick look around. Remember, it's Enlightenment E17, and that doesn't mean the ban from Walthamstow from back in the day. No, we're talking about Enlightenment E17, you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Right, to do anything on the desktop, I've just chose this desktop, right, okay? You get several to choose from, from basic to tablet to laptop to desktop to fancy, when you actually run the live CD or install it. Okay, so what we do, we left-click at the desktop, because I'm going to be a minimalist one here. And here's some of the stuff we've got here. So, applications. We have our accessories. You get the elementary test. Now, the elementary test is just to check stuff on your sliders and your anchor views, your animations. See what I mean? Look, all coming up. You know what I'm saying? Of course you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Just to make sure everything works as you really want it to. Really, really, really good. I'm not going to make this too long a video. This is quite a short one because I've done a couple on Bodhi as it is already. Okay. And I will be doing some more on Enlightenment E17. I should be tomorrow if I get some time. I'm just getting back to that all the time. I need a holiday. Okay. Back to applications again. Accessories. Get Leafpad for your text editor. LX Terminal for that terminal. And PC File Manager for your files. I'll just open that one up quickly for you. See, it's just as it was, as is. Not too sure of the fonts there. But hey, not my choice. You can change anything. Now remember the download for this is around about 360 to 380, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly, but it's half the size of an Ubuntu or Lubuntu or Zubuntu download, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's quite a lot in it really, but it's also double the size of MacPup 525, so you take your choice and goes from there, you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Right, we're in our little terminal here, now I've installed Conkey, and there's no nothing in the menu for Conkey, so I'll just go straight to the terminal, so all you do is just type in... Conky, and off we go. We just quickly get rid of the text editor there. In theory, here it comes. Now, as you can see, here's my CPU in megahertz. I'm only using 61 mega RAM out of the gig I've given it. Now, as you can see, it's, as it's more based on Lubuntu, I think, it's, the swap it's given it is only 398, which is fine. I'll be really honest with you, more than enough, unless you start loading all the extras like I normally do when I start using E17. Like all the little penguins and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, of course you do. Yeah, apart from that, works fine, so that's conky out of the way. Back to our main menu again. Remember, you have to keep pressing the left uh, button on your mouse. You can set up the desktop to have a menu at the bottom if you really want to, but it's entirely up to you. That's the whole point of E17. It's small, light and configurable, you do whatever you want to it, you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. But under preferences, we get a configuration. LX Appearance for LXD, of course, Auto Login if you want to, NTFS Configuration Tool, if you're going to uh, configure it to run with NTFS, I wouldn't uh, suggest that personally, but hey, that's just me, you know what I'm saying? Got Preferred Applications, Software Sources, and Synaptic Package Manager, okay? As you can see, I've actually installed Chromium, oh yeah, I've done it from Synaptic, you can get it from other places uh, if you like, but hey, we'll, I'll just go for Synaptic, you know me, yeah. So we'll open up Chromium and see what the baby does for us. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So if I put but hi Linux in, it's probably already come up because I'm not looking at the screen. Buddylinks.com. Let's have a look. Check it, check, 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 check. It comes actually, to be really honest, that comes up better in Chromium than it does in Midori, which is the standard browser. You know what I'm saying? Yes you do. Right, there's lots of news here and stuff you can go to and check stuff out. As you can see, they do it for tablets as well. Right, I've got a tablet, right, which I'm quite happy with. But if it goes bang, I might chuck it on. But we'll wait and see, I think. So that's Chromium out of the way. Go back to our menu again. Applications, Internet. Now, Midori is the standard browser. Now, I actually like Midori. Some people don't. Some people do. There you go. That's, oh, by the way, I installed Flash. It was, it's really easy from here. Or you can do it from Synaptic. So that's entirely up to you. So I'm going to go to Software Home. And we'll check it out. Now this is the software bundles, which they've activated via GetDeb, as far as I'm aware. GetDeb? You know what I'm saying? No, not GetDeb, didn't you? 
yeah it's the place you go to stuff that you can't get in your repositories like jag like the game jag my wife's favorite game in the entire world oh yeah her favorite right here you got the bodhi store which you can get crossover which is to run windows stuff in linux okay it's also available in standard Ubuntu, as you may know but that's a pay thing baby it's a pay thing you can actually get a bundle so you can get a full set which is nihila or Pibita for the small stuff i won't even go there i'll tell you yeah i will go there we'll go to Pibita and see what's in the application set right if you want to install this all this is what comes with it claws mail dead beef edpf viewer ephoto genie light office whatever that is is that abby word and generic i don't know it could be midori is already in there so you don't actually need to do that a pinta is your image editor q calculator vlc nice xjet and xf burn yeah it's all right then. we'll go back and look at the other one which is the big one okay what comes with the big one right now there's quite a lot there to download i reckon that would be rather large download like it says here 450 meg so it's actually doing away with the idea of it being light and you add what you want as you need it, isn't it? You're getting a DVD size, basically. What do you do? But then again, if you want all these apps, remember LibreOffice is quite a big one to start with. If you want all these apps, this is what you're going to have to do, isn't it, really? Okay, go back one more time. Let's have a look. What else have we got down here? Now, we've got some stuff here. What have we got for ripping? And we'll just do one while we're here, okay? Now remember, once you've installed it and done your stuff, don't forget to try and get your drivers if you must possibly can, okay? If you can. You need to go sudo, su, well, become root basically, and then sudo get update, update the whole system, and you'll be all hunky-dory ready to go. Now as you can see in ripping, we've got four here. Nothing that I'd want to use, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be like, some nice stuff in there. Okay, let's go down and find one that we can download. Word processor. It doesn't come with any, so you're going to need one, aren't you? Abbey Word is there. That's the baby for us. So I'm going to click on Abbey Word. Now we want to install that now, don't we? Yeah. Let's click on Install now. You should be able to do this as you've updated your system, so that should be no hidden problem. Do I want to install it? Yes, I do. It needs your password, so I'll put that in. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. It's nice to do that. That's the Intel thing, isn't it? Right, it's downloading 40 files at a certain rate, which I don't know what it is. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not too bad right for the time of night, is it? So that's going to take one minute, one second at the moment. So I'll take a sip of my old drinky poos here. Hang on a second. Mm. Oh, very nice. Mm. Oh, wetted my whistle there. Very nice indeed. Right. And as you can see, we're waiting here now, aren't we? So if I quickly move everything over, we should be able to do some other stuff, shouldn't we, really? So I'm going to click on back. And hopefully, if I move us over, we could go and check some other stuff out while we're here. Okay, we go back in. Don't want to do more of that, do we? No, we don't want to do that. Here we go, the Bodhi store again, all that. Now, as you can see, while that's doing, we'll check some other stuff out. It's educational stuff, farm managers, games. Only 13 games, though. Yeah, never mind. Wine, ebook readers. So some recently added stuff down the bottom. It's the latest kernel, 2639. I think we've already upgraded to that, actually. Myro, now. Myro is good. Trust me, I'm not going to tell you about it. Just go and download it. That'd be super duper cool. Team Viewer is a must if you want to help your buds out. Okay, if you don't want to do it via other stuff that's in Linux, Team Viewer is an easy way to do it, and you can do it with Windows guys. And it's bloody 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 bloody. I can keep going on and stuff like that, can I? But you basically, you all should know what that is all about. And you do, don't you? Yeah, no, you do. Don't you? So yes, 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 yes. You should know what that's all about. Basically, you connect to your personal machine remote desktop client but it's all done for you now normally it's a pay thing but luckily because we're only using the small one it's a freebie and you can just check each other's stuff out or transfer stuff and stuff like that so that's all right so we're waiting for abby word to do its business do its business come on you can do it do it better than that go on go on you can do it Ta -da! all done so we can close that now and that will now go now in theory but you started in theory that should all be done for us. As you can see, there's plenty here. Now, bear in mind, you have got Synaptic as well, so you've got lots of stuff to go with if you don't want to go here. All right, so don't worry about it. So I'll get rid of that window. Now, let's see if we get any office stuff. And what do you know? We have the Abbey of the Word. Nice. This should be the latest version, as it's based on Ubuntu. So we'll go to about Abbey Word. I'm sure the newer one. 
but hey, what do I know? It's only 282. If you go to Synaptic, <clears throat> which we will do straight away, okay, wherever it is, preferences, Synaptic, we'll wait for Synaptic to come up, 5, or 3, 2, 1, it loads all its stuff up for us, and we go to search, and you type in Abbey Word, in theory, we should get some extras in there for us to use, once it decides to do some stuff for me. But you know what? It's added them all already. What? Very, very good, Jeff. Very, very good. Nice one. Okay, I like that. Very nice. It's actually added all the extras for Abbey Word for you already, so that's nice. I ain't got to bother doing that anymore, have I? Now, so, to cap it all in a tin, because they'll come out with a new version in a month or so's time, I'll have to redo it. So I'm going to keep the Bodhi ones really short. The only problem I have with Bodhi at the moment, as it's supposed to be bound to, is screen resolution. Every time I log out, my screen res goes and doesn't come back. So yeah, I have to reset it all every time I boot it up. Not very good really that bit, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a small person in a small world doing small stuff. Okay, that's enough from me. If you like stuff like this, nice and minimalist and something different, E17 I've liked for a long time, as you know, go and give it a try. Small download, so that's super duper. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later, bye bye.